Never trust anyone too much. Remember, the devil was once an angel. First add Flathub Beta Remod, same way you install the normal Flathub Remod. Then, check on the available Beta Flat Pack apps. There are not many yet, but they're getting increased. And now let's install Kitten Live Beta. Flatpak will discover Kaden Live in both remotes. Just select the beta one. As long as we have a beta channel, we can do all those from software app. But anyway. And finally with make current, we can set default channel, beta or stable. Oops, that needs sudo, at least for system-wide installation. So, that is Kaden Live Beta. And if we make default disable, we will obviously get the stable on shell. From CLI we can of course launch any version we want, no matter what's default. Kaden Live can't do much, and it has all those bugs too. But, it has a very very fast workflow. If you're wondering where the beta manifests are stored, they're on Flathub GitHub. On the beta and branch of each project. Don't forget that Flatpak has a very handy PS command, that it will list all running apps. And it has also a kill command, with autocomplete to exit them. Let's restore everything. First remove Kate and Live Beta. And then remove the flat hub beta remote. And that was pretty much all. 